Alright, this is Camo 102. I want to show you the finished project here. And, uh, I think y'all saw this side already. <coughs> Actually, I just had the truck turned around the other way when I was showing you on 101. And the side that I was showing you while I was doing is y'all. There we go. That's the side. It's the way the light's hitting it now. The uh, green almost looks a little bit brown, but it's green. It's just the camera and the light hitting it the way it is. I uh, wanted to show you <coughs> some other tips now that I've shown you exactly how it turns out. Go around the front, show you the whole truck. And then if you're wondering, yeah, the, the top is done as well. But that's the whole thing. Now, uh, some of the things I was going to show you <coughs> that I didn't show you before was... I don't know if you can... See that right there. It's a little, little guy hiding in there. What is that? That's a wild boar I got hiding within the pattern now. If I had not pulled into that out, you would not have seen that. Uh, you can see him. I can see him right now, man, from a distance because I know he's there. I got another little guy in here somewhere. Let's see. What do we see there? You like that? See that buck? He's sticking his head out the camo. I may go in and put some more later. I actually did these while I was doing uh, the camo job. You can do them before or after. It <coughs> doesn't matter when you do them. Uh, because of this camo pattern being so easy to do and, and random uh, it's real easy to to uh, add something to it, or if you get a scratch or a mar, you know, uh, whatever, something happens, you can go back and, and do a little camo over the bad spot and blends right in real easy. But um, I'll just explain this, how I did this without showing it, and uh, it should be, see how I do it, explaining it, and then if you got any questions, just... Just uh, you know, put it in the comments and I'll answer. Basically, I just painted a black spot here. When I was putting the green base down, before I did my green base, like I showed you in 101, I did a spot that was black. And then I took a, uh, I went on the internet, found the pattern I wanted. I cut this little guy out of a piece of paper. I printed him out, cut him out of a piece of paper. Like I said, I painted this spot black. Then I, I stuck him to that black spot after that black spot had dried I stuck this pattern onto the, tr the black spot and uh, I, I uh, didn't want to use an adhesive so I just took some chapstick and rubbed on the paper and then st stuck them on that black spot and then I went back over with my green left that piece of paper on there went over with my green base I went over with uh, my camouflage all with that paper on there did everything like if it wasn't even there and then uh, after it dried, I, I peeled off the um, paper, and there he was. Now you see I have this green stenciled over top of this. What I had to do in order to get this over top of him was uh, cut out my stencils. Um, <clears throat> I took my, my uh, stencils, the, this leaf thing that I was using, and sprayed it on a piece of paper and then cut out the, the uh, leaves and used the paper as my stencil and covered him up and sprayed with green. And that gave me the green leaves on top to kind of mask him in there. So uh, that's it. It's really easy to do. I did the same thing with the hog. <coughs> right here. See?
did a, I did a black spot and then I put the hog on there and then uh, you know did all my camo and then this one I used that same paper to hide them oh I, I did have to do a little bit with him because he, he, he even though it was the shape of a hog he needed some features like the tusk and stuff so I took um, I used my gray and just did a little <coughs> I think I actually used a paper towel I didn't even have a paintbrush and I just touched I took my can and I sprayed it in the lid until I had a little puddle of gray and touched little spots in here and give him some features his nose and his tusk and his eye <coughs> and that's how I I got that but um I've got a, a lot of comments on this truck uh, tell you what I'm <clears throat> I, I'd much rather drive around with it like this than with some big primer spots on it for God knows how long until I can afford to get it painted and, and honestly I don't think I'll ever have painted now I think this will I'll be just fine with this. Now, uh, what I need to decide to do, <clears throat> whether or not I should or not, uh, I've never done this before, but some people are suggesting to put a clear coat on it. Um, if anybody's got any suggestions. M me, personally, it's camo. I'm thinking if it gets dull, uh, it's camo. It's dull. Which point? So, I don't know if I really want to shine it with a, with a uh, clear coat, <clears throat> but it may make it last longer and look better for a truck but for the purpose of camo maybe not but there you go that's camo 102 you got to see my finished project and I gave you some tips on how to do some patterns maybe within your <coughs> within your camouflage there and he's not real noticeable if you can see I'm, I'm losing my light but there you go that's it Chevrolet Go camo something!